Good morning, students. Welcome to Leela's tutorial. In today's class, we'll discuss about animal breeding. So, animal breeding is mating of superior quality animals to increase the production and also the productivity. So, we want to increase the production or the number of animals and also the profit gain. What can be the profit that we can gain? That is, from the livestock, if you see, you want increased amount of milk, increased amount of meat, egg, egg number of, sorry, number of eggs that are produced by the hens. Right? So, otherwise in case of sheep it can be the wool production. So, everything you want to increase the productivity rate so that you get more profit. You get benefit to the or the mankind will be benefited with that. So, in case of animal breeding, normally we see the selective breeding process. In the selective breeding, we see that either the mating occurs by nature, that is naturally the same breed or the same species made to produce the offspring. Otherwise, in the selective breeding, you have another type that is artificial breeding or the artificial selection. So, in artificial selection, we choose the uh, breeds or the animals belonging to the different breeds to produce a better offspring right so like that in this case in animal breeding it is mainly classified into two types inbreeding and the outbreeding so let us see inbreeding in case of inbreeding right it is the mating between the animals which are closely related right the closely related individuals or the animals will be mated in this for example if you see the ancestor ancestor a so here you have first generation b1 b2 then c1 c2 d1 d2 so like this you have so many generations right if there is a cross between c1 to c2 or d1 to d2 that means it is an inbreeding process where they are closely related individuals whose ancestor is same right and even here their parents belong to the same grandparents or great grandparents right so in case of inbreeding it is like brother and sister right so here in case of inbreeding it is the mating between closely related individuals is that clear so in coming to the classification again inbreeding is differentiated into two types that is close breeding and line breeding. In case of close breeding, you can see, I said inbreeding, it is a mating between the animals which are closely related or the related individuals. Again, it is classified as close breeding and line breeding. So, we will see what is the difference between them. In case of close breeding, the related individuals but with more than one ancestor. Right? They have more than one ancestor in common. In case they have A, then I said B1, B2. Now it may be C1, C2 and here there may be some C3. So if there is mating between these two, then that means they have more than one common ancestor. Right? They belong to the same species. Right? The related individuals who are having more than one common ancestor. B1 is a common ancestor to them and also A is a common ancestor. So here in close breeding, it is related mating between the related individuals with more than one ancestor. Right? Coming to the line breeding. Again here, they belong to the same family or you can say they are closely related right so closely related individuals more distinct that means here the cousins of grandparents now a is the grandparent for c right so a's cousin right a's cousin if there is a mating between the c and the grandparent of the another cousin of a right so, the ancestor of another cousin of A, right, it can be Z, if suppose, Z is the cousin of A. If there is a cross between the C and Z, C and X, then that means it is an line 
breeding where they belong to the related individuals but they are distinctly related they are not belonging to the same grandparent right so here the mating between the grandparent and his cousins or sprints is called as your line breeding right so this is about the inbreeding process then coming to the outcrossing coming to the outcrossing process here so outbreeding again you can say it as crossing or mating between unrelated animals belonging to the same breed they belong to the same breed but the they are unrelated here they all are related individuals whose ancestors are same whereas here their ancestors are not same they are unrelated but they belong to the same breed so let us see now it is classified into four types the first one is outcrossing cross breeding hybridization upgrading right so coming to the outcrossing here in this type of breeding process it is a pure breed with same breed right that means the pure breeds belonging to the different families right the breeds are same but they belong to the very farly related family where they don't belong to the common ancestor right so no common ancestor for example the marriage between the two different caste intercaste or interreligion marriages right where they belong to the same human only right but they belong to the very different uh, or very unrelated individuals or their ancestors are not at all common so in case of outbreeding it is a pure breed right both individuals are pure breeds with same breed right so here pure breed with same breed means they all belong to the humans only but they belong to the different caste or different religion right so where their ancestors are not common okay next coming to the cross breeding in the cross breeding you have different breeds of same species again here if you take example of human right all humans belong to the same species but cross between different breeds that means indian getting married to some american or any other foreigner that means it is called as cross breeding right that different breeds of same species next coming to the hybridization process in case of hybridization process it is a new variety or the new breed will be produced due to the crossing or mating between two different species so here you can take example mule where the male and female parents the donkey and the horse right their offspring is mule okay the different species they belong to different species in the same way tiger and lion which give rise to a new breed that is liger so these are called as the mule and the liger are the hybrids which are produced by mating between two different species animals right next coming to the upgrading so in case of upgrading it is a rare breed mated to the common breed see now you want only your rare breed to have that particular uh, character right so you want one some desired character it can be increased milk production so here the rare breed you want to have because it is producing more milk right and you take some another common breed but your target is to produce the offsprings which have the characteristic uh, genes of your rare breed so what you do see here rb it is the rare breed if you are taking a rare breed is a you want 100% qualities of your rare breed a so when the rare breed a is mated with common breed b whose characters are neglected you don't require these characters but you want the target is a right so now the rare breed a when mated with the common breed b it will produce half pure breed that means it will have some 50% of 
characters of rare breed A. Is that clear? When A is crossed with B, it will produce half the characters of the A and half the characters of B. Right? So, what is your target? Your target is to produce 100% of A only. You want only A to have or you want only the A genes to get inherited to the offsprings. Right? So, what you do? The half breed whatever you have obtained that will be again crossed or mated with the rare breed A. Again, you get the another offspring. Again, that offspring will be crossed with rare breed A. So, your target is rare breed A where you are upgrading only the one type of breed. Okay, you want the characteristic features of one type of breed in case of upgrading. Is that clear? So, here in outbreeding, you have outcrossing, crossbreeding, hybridization, upgrading. So, again, in now the crossbreeding is again classified into three types. We discussed that crossbreeding is mating between the different breeds of same species. Right? So, let us see what is uh, the first type that is crisscross breeding. Crisscross breeding. Second type triple cross breeding. And the third type is back cross breeding. So, in case of crisscross breeding, it is the rotational cross between two breeds. Right? So, what do you mean by rotational cross between two breeds? That means you will be crossing the A with B and again the progeny whatever you get the C it will be again crossed with any one of the parent either A or B. Right. So that means here it is an rotational cross between A and B. Two breeds are involved in criss cross breeding. Whereas in case of triple cross breeding it is an rotational cross between three breeds. Here a with B, again the progeny with the C. Is that clear? So that means the three breeds are involved in case of triple cross breeding. In the Coming to the last one, it is the back cross. In case of back cross, it is the hybrid individual with one of its parent. The mating of hybrid individual. So now let us see if it is A crossed with B, it will result in the progeny or the offspring C. Now C will be get back crossed either with A parent or with B parent. Is that clear? Now C is your hybrid. Hybrid individual is mated with one of its parent. Is that clear? So that is called as your back cross. So here in case of animal breeding, it is the selective breeding process. Then it is the cross breeding process. So here what is the use of this selective breeding or the cross breeding? First in case of selective breeding when it comes to the natural thing right natural mating process the uh, characters or the superior quality animals may not be produced in the next generations. So what we do we go for the artificial breeding process. So artificially the species or the breeds are selected and then we go for these all types of breedings. So here why you have to go for that? I said you have to increase the production and also profit. So if you have a uh, cow which is able to produce increased amount of milk right. So that uh, female or uh, animal will be considered as superior female. So you want only the superior female characters to be inherited to the next generations but not some other one. So here the male again you will be selecting the superior male there belonging to the better breed. So you select the breed and produce either the hybrids or the increased vigor of their genes. Right? So that the in uh, no, normal breeding process, in this breeding process, you want the progeny or the offsprings with better characteristic genes which have very valuable products. Right? The production in terms of their uh, profit, 
and also in terms of the production of meat milk wool eggs and all right so here we are done with the animal breeding process okay if you have any doubts put it in comments please subscribe for further lectures